everyone and welcome to this MIDI sandbox tutorial where I'll be going over the new MIDI player. This allows us to upload our own MIDI files to use as an input instead of a MIDI controller. We can also sync up with the sheet music and the YouTube player widgets like what you saw in the intro. In a minute I'll show you how you can create something like this from scratch, but first we need to get our hands on the MIDI and music XML files. The easiest way to get these files is to use a sheet music software like MuseScore. So essentially what I did is I manually copied the transcription that YouTuber Chani D did for the song Flowers by Nujibez. And I'll come back to this video later, but you guys should definitely check it out because he's covered a lot of great Nujibez songs. So once we have the score ready, we can go ahead and do File Export. And this is where we can grab the music XML as well as the MIDI file. Alright, so now we can start setting up our layout in midisandbox.com. So I'll go ahead and get started with the sheet music widget. And if you don't already have an account, you'll have to create a free one in order to upload your own files. But once you do that, you can go ahead and upload the music XML file that we just exported. And I already have it, so I'm just going to select it here. I'm not going to go over all these settings because I went over them in a previous video, which I'll link below. So I'm just going to change a couple of things here, like the zoom and I'm going to decrease the volume of this widget because I'm going to add my own audio file later on. And I'll just go ahead and save changes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set up the MIDI file player. So here we can upload any MIDI files that we have or just select what we've already uploaded. And what this does is it allows us to use the MIDI file as an input for other widgets instead of just a regular MIDI controller. So I'm going to go to the global settings and I'm going to set the default MIDI input to be flowers.midi. And before I move on, I just want to point out this setting at the bottom here, control global playback. And this allows us to sync up the events for replay, pause, and play with other widgets like the sheet music. And later on, I'm going to set up the YouTube player. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set up the piano widget and the tonnets. And I'm not going to explain exactly what the tonnets is in detail here, but if you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you'll notice that both of them defaulted to use the flowers.midi as the input because we already set that in our global settings. So now if I click play here, you'll see both of them are responding to the playback. And next I'm just going to fast forward while I quickly rearrange this layout. Alright, now I'm going to set up the YouTube player. And first we need to grab a YouTube URL. So like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using Chani D's video where he covers a bunch of different Nujibes songs but I'm only focusing on the song Flowers, so I'm gonna take note of exactly when he starts playing this in the video. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste the URL here. And you'll notice that the video is way too small down here, so I'm just gonna change this video fit setting to cover. And then I'll pretty much scroll down to the bottom of the video, so it's only focusing on the keyboard section. Next, I'm going to set the playback offset to 173 seconds into the video. That way, when I start playing this MIDI player, it will start at that point in the video. And now we also have the audio coming from the video, so it should sync up with the rest of the widgets that we have. Alright, so next I want to show you how we can upload our own audio files to sync with the MIDI player. And one thing that we could do is use a DAW like Ableton, and then we can import the MIDI file that we're using in our MIDI Sandbox project. And for the audio source, I'm going to be using the actual Flowers song by Nujibez. So I'll just import this audio track, 
And I already know that I want to be using the section of the song that starts on the ninth bar. So I'm just going to trim this audio and drag it over here. And I'm just going to play through it a little bit just to make sure it seems like the mini notes are lining up with the song. Alright, that seems good enough to me, so I'm just going to export the audio and I'm going to make sure I'm only exporting the New Jabez Flowers audio track. And I only want to render the first 8 bars. So we can go ahead and export that and save it. And one thing that you should probably do is make sure that you're converting it to an mp3 file because the files are a lot smaller. So once you do that, we can head back over to MIDI Sandbox and we can select this option and upload a new file or just select one that we already have. And I'm going to go back to the YouTube player and just make sure that I mute the volume over here so it's not overlapping. And now we can go ahead and play it with the audio that we just exported. <laughs> Lastly, I want to give you guys some quick tips. So in case this is your first time watching a MIDI sandbox video, you don't have to use a file for the input. If you have a MIDI controller, you can actually connect that to your computer and then just go ahead and select it as the input. Then the widgets will be responding to your device in real time. And I have a separate tutorial that goes into all the various ways that you can use this and some of the other widgets that I haven't covered in this video. So definitely check that out if you're interested. The second tip that I wanted to go over is the templates. Because obviously every time you visit MIDI Sandbox you don't want to set up all these widgets all over again. So what you can do is just save a new template and you can also share it with other people. So you can either just grab the URL or click on this icon button here and click on this button to grab the link and then you can share with other people who can load it and play it. I also want to point out that there is a full screen mode down here in the bottom right that will give you some more space to work with and you can also collapse the side panel over here but if you notice the sheet music not re-rendering properly you can just go ahead and click on this refresh button on the right side. And the last tip I have is just to check out the FAQ page where I'm going to try to answer some common questions. But if you still have questions or you just want to provide feedback, definitely leave a comment below. I have a lot of updates planned for MIDI Sandbox and ideas for new widgets. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you can follow on any of the platforms I have listed at the top of the website. Alright, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.